It is now official, MMA's hottest free agent is officially off the market. For a while now, Francis Ngannou has been enjoying his free agency status while also exploring the different options in front of him. Now it seems that the Predator has found himself a new home and by the looks of it, he is said to be quite cozy. The PFL was only founded in 2017 but has managed to work its way into the conversation regarding the top MMA promotions in the world. The PFL has become a lucrative option for rising and established fighters alike. The signing of Ungano to the promotion is a major one as it could show fighters the different avenues that they could take. Ungano benefits tremendously with this new deal and quite a bit of information has been released. There was growing concern with regards to what Ungano's next move would be and whether his standards would even be met. The deal with the PFL seems to suggest that Ungano is exactly where he's meant to be and he's getting everything he wants. Hi fight fans, it's Toby with the African Fighters and this is the top 7 things we learned from the Francis Ungano's PFL deal. Come on, Africans! Ah, Number 7. Only 2 to 3 fights. Francis Ngannou's PFL contract is said to only be for about 2 or 3 fights. It also says that the contract does not include any championship clauses, which means it's strictly going to be just those 2 to 3 trips to the cage before they renegotiate for further showings. This will probably give Ngannou the flexibility and space to pursue other ventures, whether they are related to combat sports or otherwise. Number 6. The Super Fight Division. The former champion isn't joining the regular PFL season, instead he will be joining the newly formed PFL Super Fight Division. This special division was founded by Jake Paul and will headline the major pay-per-view events. The Super Fight Division will not be putting up events as often, but when they do, best believe they will be major. Number 5. 7 figures upward per fight. With Ungano being part of the Super Fight division, he is eligible to earn more than 50% of the pay-per-view revenue, that is in addition to getting a share in the event's overall profits. With his opponents being guaranteed over $1 million, Ungano is surely making a lot more than that. With that much money coming in per fight, those 2 or 3 trips will surely rack in enough to keep Ungano happy. Number 4. The first PFL fight expected date. The Predator is clearly in no rush to get back into the cage. It's been reported that his first fight with the PFL could happen only as early as mid-2024. That gives Ngannou almost an entire year to do other things with himself and in the meantime, he can focus on his debut in the boxing ring or he could look at all the other new responsibilities coming with his contract. Number 3. PFL's Advisory Board Whilst his in-cage debut for the PFL is still far away, Ngannou's impact within the company starts sooner. It was announced that the Cameroonian star has equity in the company and will be serving on the PFL's advisory board to represent fighters' interest. This is major because it was one of the things that Ngannou has been seeking to be a voice for fighters to be treated better. And number 2. PFL Africa Chairman PFL's expansion into the African continent is ramping up and Francis Ngannou will be leading the charge. Ngannou will be the chairman of PFL Africa and with a reputable leader at the helm, the expansion could be major. The African continent's combat sports scene is booming right now and several stars are rising. Ngannou knows better than anyone how to find the best talent that the continent has to offer and this could certainly see an increase in African MMA stars. Francis Ngannou is undoubtedly going to be a major player as the chairman. And last but definitely not the least, number one, the boxing career is still happening. Ngannou's contract states that it's an exclusive PFL MMA 1, however it allows him to pursue a career in boxing. It's no secret that Ngannou is keen on testing himself in the ring and a contract that allows him to still do that is essentially a jackpot for the fighter. The idea seems to be to have a boxing bout or two before his PFL MMA debut, with at least one of those being a major showdown. Essentially, Ngannou is getting the best of both worlds. Francis Ngannou showed that fighters don't have to settle and can absolutely get what they want and deserve. From being the hottest free agent to having the titles of contracted fighter, advisory board member and chairman, it's yet to be seen how the PFL